Digital sovereignty doesn't start in the cloud. It starts underground. Every chip, every sensor, every satellite, every AI data center owes its existence to raw materials. Lithium, cobalt, and a handful of metals we call rare earths. Now, this supply chain has become the epicenter for one of the fiercest geopolitical battles of our time. From the minerals buried deep in the earth, to the semiconductors pulsing inside our devices. Nations are now in a race to control the very foundations of the digital age. For years, the world believed the digital revolution lived in the cloud. It is built on the ground. Every chip, every battery, every connected device depends on an invisible web of mines, factories and trade routes. A network that began to tear apart when the US-China trade war ignited in 2018. Tariffs, sanctions and tech bans exposed just how vulnerable global manufacturing had become. China's dominance in rare earth elements, the 17 minerals essential for modern electronics, gives the country immense leverage. China produces around 60% of the world's supply and refines nearly 90% making the rest of the world highly dependent on its exports. When Beijing began hinting that it could use its grip on rare earth exports as a geopolitical weapon, it sent alarm bells ringing in Washington. The message was clear. Control over minerals could translate to control over technology. Determined to reduce that vulnerability, the US launched an aggressive push to rebuild its own tech supply chain. The Chips and Science Act of 2022, signed by the then US President Joe Biden on August 9th, became the centerpiece of that effort. Under the new act, around $280 billion has been allocated to revive America's semiconductor industry. Funding aimed at expanding domestic research innovation and chip manufacturing capacity. You know, the Chips and Science Act supercharged our efforts to make semiconductors here in America. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Those tiny computer chips, smaller than a fingertip, that are the building blocks for a modern economy powering everything from smartphones to dishwashers, automobiles. Washington has also tightened export controls on China's access to advanced semiconductor technology, citing national security threats and fears of military misuse. The move has forced companies like NVIDIA to redesign and downgrade chips specifically for the Chinese market. You know, the world, the world is reconfiguring itself and uh, we are a company and we just have to, we have to adapt to whatever the world's uh, uh, trade and tax and tariff conditions are. The ripple effects extend far beyond Silicon Valley. Taiwan's TSMC, the world's largest contract chip maker, has become a geopolitical pressure point, squeezed between US demands to limit China's access and the push to expand advanced manufacturing on American soil. Its massive new facility in Arizona embodies that shift. The most powerful AI chips in the world will be made right here in America. This $100 billion in new investment will go into building five cutting-edge fabrication facilities in the great state. In total, today's announcement brings Taiwan Semiconductor Investments to about $165 billion. Meanwhile, Beijing has doubled down on its own semiconductor ecosystem. With heavy state backing, firms like SMIC and Huawei are racing to close the technology gap, pushing forward with homegrown chips that increasingly test the limits of US sanctions. And the contest isn't just limited to chips. On October 28, 2025, US President Donald Trump and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese signed a landmark framework for critical minerals aimed at reducing reliance on China's dominance. Today's agreement on critical minerals and rare earths is just taking it to the next level, seizing those opportunities uh, which are before us uh, to uh, take our relationship 
to that next level. The tech war has now spilled into Europe after China expanded export curbs to cover rare earth processing technologies. A move that directly threatens Europe's supply chain for advanced manufacturing. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we are seeing these types of measures. Such restrictions have already forced some EU companies to halt production, causing real economic harm and undermining trust. This is not about security or non-proliferation. These controls are targeting civilian industries directly. Today, the geopolitics of rare earths and semiconductors is rapidly evolving. The US is building semiconductor fabrication plants in Arizona. China is investing heavily in domestic R&D. Japan is partnering with allies to diversify supply. The EU is building Gaia-X, a sovereign cloud network to keep European data within European jurisdiction. And then there's India. The country is investing heavily in its own AI ecosystem, including Bharat GPT, the nation's sovereign generative AI platform. Built to support more than a dozen Indian languages, Bharat GPT handles text, voice and video and is designed to power enterprise-grade virtual assistants across sectors. The race for digital self-reliance is redefining alliances and redrawing borders. Invisible ones, made of code, minerals and silicon.